that Ms. Larbazuera Abudu be confirmed by consensus as Minister Designate for Gender, Children and Social Protection to take away from our colleague who has been indisposed with some demanding explanations and answers as to her whereabouts as Member of Parliament and Minister for State. Then, Mr. Speaker, also to recommend Ms. Frances Kauting Mensa as Deputy Minister Designate for Gender, Children and Social Protection. But, Mr. Speaker, with the appointment of the Deputy Minister, just for the purpose of, of, of the record, may I, miss, with respect, Mr. Speaker, refer you to Article 79, Mr. Speaker, Article 79 of the 1992 Constitution. Because we see uh, Larba Zuera, Minister for Gender, Children, and Social Protection. Then, when you read the President's appointment letter, Article 79 1 reads, and I quote, The President may, in consultation with a Minister of State and with the pre approval of Parliament, appoint one or more Deputy Ministers to assist the Minister in the performance of his function. So, Mr. Speaker, materially, who did the President consult? Which minister did the President consult? Because who did the President consult? There is no minister for gender and children. We are now coming to appoint the minister. So the President must be upholding the letter and spirit of the Constitution. That's why in many ministries, the chemistry is not working because the President didn't consult well. Some deputy ministers are just functioning at their ministries. We are told they are unhappy. Ministers don't give them even assignments. And ministers don't delegate anything to them. So it is for a purpose that Article 79 was provided. So that the president will consult the minister. So minister for roads means minister for roads. When you say minister for gender, and the president appoints a deputy minister for gender, when there is no minister for gender, who did the president consult?